Mr. Moore, why do you think you were chosen to play the saint? Because Sean Connery wasn't available. Uh, no, let's I, have a truthful answer. Right. I uh, tried to try to buy the show five years or six years ago. I tried to buy the rights, but I didn't have enough money at the time. Or Leslie Charters wasn't interested in selling to television, which put the price up. So when I was approached, I, you know, I was delighted to do it. I felt it was a character for a running TV series, you know, that had a built-in premise, sort of part Superman. Um, a natural hero, w things one's not allowed to do on television because of censorship, the hero must always be white. I think that a hero, is, you know, heroes don't exist as far as I'm concerned. I th uh, think that people who've read the books know that the saint was a crook, although we never say it in television. And for this reason, he has a double interest. He has a, a, another uh, aspect to his character. You enjoy packing punches? Yes, you know, I like to win because in life I'm a devout coward. I uh, have a yellow streak on my back to prove it. What, no, what I really like about playing the Saint is I've, I've been under contract to MGM, to Warner Brothers, and to Columbia, and always playing heroes that were, you know, true blue. And I was never allowed to be photographed with a cigarette or a drink in my hand. And now, you know, I play the Saint, it doesn't matter. But with all the all these these series you've been in, have you got any stories to tell us about the the dangerous moments you've had when you perhaps uh, packed a punch and received a broken leg in return? Well, I uh, when when I first started Ivanhoe, we were doing a sword fight on horseback, and this is before I started wearing gloves as the character. And one day we were it was three o'clock in the afternoon. We're out in the field, and we had about six or seven horses charging at me. There were great screams there. Hey, we do. I went in to the battle. Someone came in with a sword straight down my finger, and the nail came shooting off. So I said, cut, please, and stopped, and they put an adhesive tape on. And then we went back into action again. They the, the next cut took the adhesive tape off. So they put the adhesive tape back on. By this time, you know, I, I really don't know what day it is. And we started charging in again. The saddle slipped. I ended up underneath the horse. This chance of Avenue, and I'm saying, cut, cut, please, cut. And I got up and I went home. Maverick, Ivanhoe, and the same types. I'd say that Roger Moore never had it so good. Why, what is the attraction behind playing in these long-running series? Money. And? I think because I'm not doing anything else at the time. When I'm, uh, there's also one other series that wasn't shown here called The Alaskans which I met at Warner Brothers, which I did 39 hours with Dorothy Provine. And in this, we made it all in California in 120 degrees, wearing a parka and sled, uh, you know, sled teams with dogs. They taught me how to drive dogs, say, mush to go, G mush to turn left, how mush to turn right. And the first day, they, they built this enormous stage at Warner Brothers, and they covered it with gypsum and salt which looked like snow and all these rocks. And they brought down a champion dog team from Sun Valley. They said, all right, you say mush and you drive down there. Now scattered all the way down this slope were pine trees, which were nailed to the stage. So I said mush. They didn't move. I said, please mush. And they started off. And the lead dog stopped at the first pine tree. They, they didn't know the snow was waltz. They didn't know the pine trees weren't real.